And then I was so like just bugging out. I was like, I was on the floor. I remember just crawling around, looking up at like a light, and the light was changing shapes and stuff. <laughs> and I remember I like I was had a hard time getting a word out. But I asked somebody in the room, I'm like, what What was that? What What did we just smoke? And he and he goes, That's really good weed. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, boy. And there is one other story. <laughs> yeah, I saved it. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> and then I um. <laughs> it's time for the Cine Massacre podcast. And now the hosts with the most: James, Kieran, Justin, and this badass guest. So this is the Cinemasker podcast, and we are joined by our first guest wow. uh, ever. Yeah, what an honor. this is John, my friend from uh, like almost thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you and your family I've known for almost thirty years. That's crazy. And we recently just did a video where we play some of the old NES games that you owned and you and your, your siblings owned. Mm-hmm. So check that out if you haven't. Um, yeah, that was a great video. It's very wholesome. Oh, very wholesome. I, I saw that compliment a lot. That was very cute. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. We yeah. actually like each other. We've been friends for a very long time. Our families are still friends. And we still stay in communication. So watching James go through all of this has been really fun mm. from our perspective. So. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, man, you're yeah. awesome. I, I, I also, uh, I checked out your Instagram. You're a great photographer. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I've been, I shot my first wedding in 2007. Um, I finally feel confident in my abilities as a photographer, like, recently. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been doing it for about 15 years. Um, so, yeah, I love, I love love. I love weddings. So, you kind of, um, you know, that's where my desire, to, uh, you guys do what you love, and I now I do what I love. And, and oh. that, that makes me really happy. Um I love weddings and I love taking pictures. So to combine the two is really fun. Weddings yeah. are cool because it's like everybody's so happy, but then afterwards, then, then you realize it's a mix. Yeah, because yeah, then <laughs> yeah. afterwards you start to realize how stressed uh, everyone's stressful. Yeah. Everyone, when I, my wife and I got married a couple of years ago, we only had our family at our wedding. We got married on a Sunday afternoon at one of mm-hmm. our dear friends' houses. And then we had lunch, uh, and that was it. Because I've seen weddings. I love weddings, but Mm -hmm. I've seen them, and I know how much money sometimes people spend on them. Mm -hmm. And I make money off of that part, so keep on doing weddings. But (laughs) (laughs) at the same time, I didn't really – I – didn't choose that path. I made it a lot simpler. I just yeah. hired a friend, and my wife hired. Her. My wife is a florist, so we're both in the industry. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we both kind of work on the weekends, and Mondays and Tuesdays are like our weekends. So you know, it's cool. funny. I used to edit weddings, so if only we did it at the same time, I could have been here. You know, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, never right. shot video. And that, oh, it sucks. I, like I, yeah. I was a wedding videographer. You don't get another take. That's yeah, because photos one thing. people yeah. pose for you and all that. But like the video, when you're trying to get everything from different angles and get proper sound, the audio is oh, the yeah. audio is the part that would crush me if I was doing it because I've seen mm-hmm. horrible feedback situations and I've seen ugly microphones and I've seen people unplug things and put them away and yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't want to deal with that. That doesn't seem as much fun. My job is really fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems pretty good. <laughs> it is. It's fine. I love it. You have to love it or else you'll hate it because mm-hmm. you. Like I said, you see it from the inside out, so you sort of, um, you have to, there's a lot of, um, it, it's half, no, like you could be the most technically proficient photographer in the world, you could know everything about every camera that you guys have, every piece of light, but you also need to deal with like a, a nervous bride or an aggressive mom mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. you know, you have to be able to stay calm and go with the flow and it's like a... You know, it's like balancing act. It's also reading people throughout the day, which is what I like, which is what I, I, I talk a lot. So this is good for me, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and also a ton of drunk people. Yeah. 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 Well, so that could be the annoying part. And we try to sometimes not always stay till the very end to try to avoid some of the drunken shenanigans. Some of the venues in Philadelphia have an uh, hour and a half cocktail hour, which is um, longer and that half an hour can make a huge difference yeah. in the amount of um, mm. drinks people have. And I've heard stories from staff at some of those places where the end of the nights can sometimes get pretty ugly. So we try to, nobody wants to, I mean, at least I personally don't want to document um, people fighting with each other and right. stuff like yeah. that. So we try to keep it happy, cut the cake, and then and then we're gone. You're out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. We get like yeah. 15, 20 minutes of dancing photos is plenty. Just get the oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah. And then you leave before people... People you get aggressive, man. People are getting very entitled, and 
you know, that can be the fun part is like, sometimes I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't admit this, but I purposely turn the flash power up on my flash to as high as possible power and shot people directly in the face. That oh, was, right. <laughs> so they're like... <laughs> they were frustrating me. Oh. I'm like, oh, sorry. So I totally didn't mean it. Like people like like shoot pictures over your shoulder oh. sometimes. Mm -hmm. They'll bump into you. Oh yeah. I've had people tell me to get out of their way when yeah. I'm the one that's oh, like yeah, doing the job. Everyone has a everyone has a cell phone now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone's a photographer, and everyone's got a camera. Cameras are so cheap now. So right. Anyway. Yeah, and speaking of beers, I got you guys some beer here. It's the uh, the Turian Calibration. From Broken Goblet. It's a Mass Effect themed beer. From B Gob. Yeah, so he gave me a can of this here. Anyway, my opinion about this, because you said it was an IPA, this doesn't taste bad like other IPAs. Like, this, this is <laughs> That's good. That's hazy. This That's is, probably why you like it. Yeah, it's I a mean, sweeter too. It, it's a little sour for my taste, but I do like it. But basically, if this is an IPA, then this might be the best IPA I ever had. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, you should try like, I, like, you know, I went on this rant in the last video it's about, cool logo. about IPAs. Yeah, it's the Garrus, the one character yeah, yeah, from yeah. Mass Effect. Because they have another beer called Market Calibration. And it's like a bear, like the stock market. Right. And someone online is like, hey, you know, Mass Effect memes? And they're like, okay. And they made it. But they, they also have um, <laughs> they have a beer called Send Me an Angel. And it's rad BMX themed. Yeah, mm. we, we saw it when we went the, the one day. Yeah, I was like, whoa. These guys know me very well. Which was well. a movie we did on rental reviews. Yeah, season. one of Which, the first. You know, I, I haven't watched that in a good minute. And I, I wouldn't mind... Uh, in, in watching it again. Oh yeah, it's, it's. I don't know. That movie's just a good time. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy your beers. I, you know, I'm kind of one. I'd rather drink and get drunk than get high mm. because I've had too many bad experiences getting high. Mm. And in one of the last oh, episodes too. of the podcast, I talk about being poisoned by a pot brownie. <laughs> so I figured we'd just do a whole episode on. Oh, getting is that, high in weed and, and is that bad now? experiences. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to happen now? We're going to do it now? Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I mean, a lot of people have, because uh, we talked about the, you know, Jaleel White's Purple Urkel weed. Yeah. And after that episode, so many people want to hear more about the weed story. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the record, I have not smoked weed in like about 20 years. It's been that long. Um, and even when I did, it wasn't something I did regularly, but I tried it, you know. Um, because, you know, a long time before that, you, you got to understand, of course, we came out of like, you know, the 80s, 90s was when uh, there was the PSAs all the time. And it was don't do drugs, just say no. To me, weed was just drugs. Like to me, I thought weed was the same as cocaine or heroin. Like I, th <laughs> I thought it was like yeah. just as bad, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah. Well, they so, demonize like drug dealers and everything. And then when you go to college and two of the dudes in your class are drug dealers. <laughs> and <it's> like, <laughs> you're like, hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's I what mean, I had my first experiences, too, was, like, in college. I was kind of – went to a Catholic school, sort of semi-sheltered, I would say. Um, and it wasn't really until college where I was exposed to, you know, that sort of community. I knew mm – -hmm. the kids that I knew that got high in high school, I didn't necessarily like at the time. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was never part of – like, I knew that it existed, but I mm. would just, like, drink vodka in my friend's basement versus... Yeah, that's what I mean, my friends did, too. <laughs> versus, uh, you know, yeah. smoke joints outside or whatever, so... Yeah. yeah, and on top of that, this topic would have been, like, more taboo earlier because it seems now, like, weed is just so common because it's becoming more legal. You yeah. can get a medical card, and it's just, like... Yeah, it just seems like it's just more common nowadays, would you say? Is that correct? Or? Oh, it's 100% correct. Um, mm. There's been, across the... The, the country essentially there's been um evolution in the laws a lot of states are going full recreational now uh pennsylvania you can get a medical marijuana card yeah which i do have <laughs> you know i was uh, when we went to portland i was baked most of the time we were in portland. like no no joke i uh vegas is really fun too yeah you, should, you know next time you're out there we, there was right across from the convention center at portland retro gaming was a dispensary uh, and i walked in and i and, you know everybody's like <laughs> Yeah, we're going to the dispensary. Come on. And I, I didn't really understand it. And I was like, what? And it's like going to Wawa. Oh, it's, yeah. it's like you order, like you, the same way you order a hoagie at Wawa, you order whatever yeah, weed. Is it like, 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 you know, ordering a beer, you show your ID? Yeah, your you show yeah. your ID, they let you in. A th and it's like a store. Yeah. Of, I mean, I'm uh, not interested. Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm never I, smoking again. But I'm just, <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm just curious was, about what you're yeah, talking I was, about. <laughs> I, it was fun. Yeah, it was if really you, if interesting. If you go to any state that's recreationally legal, all you need to show is a valid ID mm, yeah. that shows you're over wow. 21, just like a drink. You can't, and, yeah, um, and you can't like drive on it and stuff like, like and you can do it in, in open places as long as you're not like, uh, well, that's the uh, thing about Vegas I know that is actually an issue is because there's so many stores. You, every corner you can buy whatever you yeah. want. 
but there's nowhere that you can technically legally mm -hmm. smoke because you can really only smoke in your own house. Oh. But you're in Vegas and everyone brings the weed to the hotel or yeah. if you walk on Fremont Street, it's like a Grateful Dead concert. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can imagine in Vegas too. Like, who's gonna really? Nobody cares, yeah, but it yeah. just becomes an issue where there's no place for consumption. So I think. I'm not sure I'm not like a city planner, but I think there is plans for them to have some sort of like consumption bars, like similar to like an Amsterdam experience where you could mm. go there, have a bud tender, you know, smoke a joint, do a dab, whatever you want to do, buy an edible yeah, and, and leave and smoke without bothering anybody who would be offended by that sort of thing. I'm, I'm sorry. Bud tender, <laughs> bud, bud tender. Yeah, that's like that's, that's tender yeah, for weed. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a, clever. <laughs> yeah, that's clever. I, yeah, I can't uh, claim that. That's a that's a known term. Oh. And, and a lot of states, it's funny talking about weddings. In a lot of states where it's recreationally legal, people do have weed bars where they like walk up and be like, "I want this and this," and the dude will roll them up, whatever. So hmm. diff wow. different, uh, you know, hmm. Colorado, California, Oregon, those kind of places. My one friend was just in Colorado, and she said it's like you know, anywhere you go. She was buying and it cheap. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing too, is like, you know, I, Comparatively. The, man, the shady deals I used to like go on back in, in <laughs> oh my God, like driving up to like Cambria street in, in Philly, oh, and yeah. like North Philly. And like, you know, our, <laughs> our, our dealer meat. was like a guy that had, <laughs> one time we went and we were going to buy an ounce uh, that was a big you, deal which, too. Yeah, it's you know that's like well that was me and my friends splitting it, but it was like kind of dirt weed, so it was like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> right. And um, we go there, and you know our guy comes up, and he's like, "Hey, uh, cops got me, and I had to throw it in the sewer, so I won't have it till tomorrow." So uh -huh. we had to just drive off, but we would be sitting in this area where you know it, it had, sounds it, safe. Yeah, it was not. It was really <laughs> bad, and yeah. like the you know it was the kind of place where kids are on the corner and they shout out cops and everything and they used yeah. to shout me out as a cop all the time right and meanwhile i'm there to go buy weed <laughs> and, I, and i was always in a leather jacket i used oh. to wear a leather jacket all the time before the vest oh now you're in the black vest now i'm in the black vest yeah i'm wearing a black vest now wow i changed vests i had to get a new one the other right. one doesn't fit anymore i saw on the first episode you talked about your weight loss congratulations yeah thank you thank you that's a lot yeah it was it was uh i'm still like doing it now and of course. uh you know i'm i'm yeah I kind congratulations of, yeah. again by the way thank you i actually so that's the other thing too is i quit drinking uh, uh entirely but yeah, it's because a lot of carbs I'm, and beer it's yeah <laughs> i'm trying i i kind of got weird about the whole working out stuff now and now it's like becoming the obsession kind of thing now where you, I've crossed the threshold of over like, you know, I'm like, Hey, I lost like this much weight and this much time. I wonder how far I could push it mm -hmm. and get even crazier. Well, you definitely plateau at points yeah. Sure. So I just, I honestly, like I, I'm starting like, you know, I want to start lifting and stuff like yeah. that and all this stuff that, cause I was like, I've never been like shredded, you know, I want to get like, no, me neither, you know, buddy. yeah, I've never been like, I, I was in good shape in high school, but I've I never, never really, been. I thought, I thought I was fat when I was in high school, but then yeah. in retrospect, I was actually in probably the best shape of my life. And yeah. And then I also, I have lost some weight in my life as well. Yeah. Um, I do jujitsu for fun. Though. Oh, That's for real? Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah. can, uh, if you want to be flipped, he can flip you. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I, yeah, that was one of the things. a different podcast. I yeah, wanted yeah. to go, I wanted to do MMA training when I get in better shape though, oh, because dude, I don't think don't, I can like. No, 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 no. Everyone says that. You got to just go. Yeah. yeah just just go. do it. Just do it. Because people that, always make excuses like, oh, I, I feel like I should be in better shape or, you know, yeah. I should work on my cardio. You know how you get. Cardio, you do jujitsu. Yeah, you just it, go yeah. to class, and it, I wanted it's to really do hard. Jujitsu, I want to do Muay Thai, like, yeah, they, like, like kickboxer and all that. You know, yeah, yeah. That's what I've always a wanted. A lot to of do. gyms have both. Yeah, I can't wait for our Krav Maga episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Our ass kicked. It's like the it's Israeli, the Israeli uh, defense force, like martial arts that it, they do. It's like deadly. Like yeah. they'll kill you. <laughs> you, you, you know, like karate kids, like you know, strike hard, strike first. Like this is very like kill them and get them down, street fighting kind of thing. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of crotch grabbing and eye poking. Yeah, it yeah. is like pain, <laughs> the, the fighting style, pretty much. It's like, like Three Stooges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's aggressive yeah. Three Stooges. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, sorry, crap, uh, got people. About getting high. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to talk about, like, anyone have a story they want to tell about, like... Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. You're, you're, you're the guest. Sure, I, I guess uh, we'll sure. do, you know, so look. I do get high yeah. on the regular. Um, I can think of a lot of funny stories. I don't necessarily have a worse story. I've never really had any... Um, panic or freak out moments, at least not on um, any kind of cannabis related drugs. Uh, that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the um, next one. <laughs> I, can I can remember one of the funniest things. So, 
I was I was in college at the time. I was maybe twenty or twenty one, and um, my brother had gotten a bong, like a straight up foot bong from his girlfriend for Christmas, which I told her not to buy him, and then I told him that he should keep it at my college, and then he was just like, "Oh, you just want to use my bong," and I'm like, "Well, kind of, but <laughs> I also don't want you to get." caught with it so long story short my brother takes a trip to florida to help a friend move while my brother and my brother still lived at home at the time while um he was away my mother cleaned his car she says she was doing him a favor but she's very snoopy i love my mother yeah. but she was definitely <laughs> yeah. um it's all i'm doing, cleaning she was definitely doing some investigating if i had mm -hmm. to guess and she found this bong so then i at the time was in college i was on a ski trip in Maine, I get a phone call on, on my phone from my mom, and she's like, hey, I just uh, was cleaning your brother's car, and I uh, I found something. And I'm like, oh, what, 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 what could you possibly have found? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, it was a bong. And I was like, oh, like a bong. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. How did she, that get there? Yeah, who put that there? <laughs> a bong. And she's like, did you, did you know that he had that? And I'm like, no, of course not. Like, I never knew that he would do that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that conversation happened, I called my brother and he's like, he's like hysteric. He's like all upset because like he was on vacation in Florida, like literally smoking giant joints in Florida, oh, man. <laughs> trying to get it all in before he got home because he knew he was going to get in trouble. <laughs> and um, he confirmed that he talked to my parents and without talking to each other, he also confirmed that I did not have knowledge of his drugs so he didn't rat me out That's in any good. fashion so we had a we didn't talk to each other but we both told the same story which i thought was fun wow <laughs> nice That's cool. i got one more if you want to hear sure it. go for yeah, it yeah. <laughs> i got a lot of them actually That's right, I'm <laughs> in college so i i graduated from stockton college um i actually graduated in december of 2004 and i had a friend who was graduating the following semester or maybe he had already graduated i forget the exact logistics but he was graduating in just a few days and i wasn't in school at the time but he was there so we were just hanging out in his apartment and we decided that it would be a good idea to just smoke a bunch of joints and or blunts or whatever yeah. right fire alarm goes off I'm like fuck <laughs> oh my God. but i'm like it's stocked and there's not that many people down here we have a little bit of time everybody that's kind of a party school too yeah for sure but this yeah. was like there was nobody on campus this right. was like three days before you know there might have been a small percentage of the students were actually there so i'm like there's nobody around here. like we have time guys like anything illegal like let's just put it somewhere else. And then like when the cops get here, they say it smells We're like, I don't smell anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, cop wound up showing up maybe about 10, 15 minutes later. And basically it was like to the, to the person whose apartment was, is like, why are you still here? He's like, Oh, I'm graduating like tomorrow. <laughs> and the cops like, you know, there's like thousands of acres of woods around here. Maybe you should go outside next time and just left. That's thankfully. Cool. <laughs> thankfully. Wow. And then in turn, while we actually, my friend, unknowingly left some um, paraphernalia around and would have gotten in trouble had the cops been aggressive but they were yeah. kind to him just let him graduate and let us leave so Oof. you know and this was in like 2004 or so so it was a long time ago yeah well the, f the first time i drank it was like at a high school party where the cops actually raided it <laughs> and i'm actually wearing the same vest that i wear in like the rex viper videos first time i drank i'm oh, yeah. downing a literal like keg of uh popov vodka Ugh, pop like, off pop off yeah oh, I remember. And, and it was <laughs> terrible so when i Ugh. like so i just after that i was like no more first time experiences that are too crazy um i'm like you Don't know i probably vodka. i probably won't smoke weed because same thing I was like oh it's a drug blah 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 uh and the first person to get me high which i didn't really feel it was actually uh brental floss Oh yeah, and I was in my basement. We just shot a video where we were beating each other up. Or something. shout out to Brennel mm -hmm. Floss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> weed and stories. He's, he's like, oh, <laughs> uh, smoke, whatever. And I don't know if he, you know, I don't know what he's doing now in terms of his uh, smoking and stuff. But I'm like, yeah, okay, let's try. And I didn't like feel anything. And I was like, ah, this. Usually the sucks. first time, I don't think like I didn't either. The first time I ever you usually did. don't do it right though. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the well, issue is. And then the second or third time I did it um, without Brennel Floss. The problem is, I like, especially when I drink, I like talking and being like, Bleh, you know. Well, we kinda. used to, when we used to film the videos, we used to shoot have montages of us fucking smoking in the beginning. Smoking and drinking, <laughs> yeah. And, I uh, used to always be like, don't put my face, like, don't yeah. do it. Well, but, videos. But, oh, our, yeah. old, our old YouTube, YouTube show stuff, back yeah. in the, like, when I was doing public access shit. And like stuff a decade like that. ago. Yeah. Oh, huh. And the, the problem was, like, when I get high, I just, 
I feel like I'm trying to say things, but they won't come out of my mm. mouth, and I get frustrated. Mm. And I'm like, I don't like this feeling. So I just never really did it after that. I mean, it's not for everyone, and yeah. everyone's body reacts differently to every kind of chemical. So yeah, and like, I mean, I, I remember smoking with James one time. Yeah, I might bring up I one try, of those. I tried, <laughs> I tried to get. Yeah, go ahead. You, maybe no, you should tell well, the story. Well, no, why don't you do it first? I want to see. I wanna see <laughs> no, well, I just remember. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember getting you high and you just kind of freaking out and just not really liking it in any fashion. Oh yeah, and was just over, sort of overwhelmed and. Just yeah, not it really sounds the same concept remember, for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, nah. I'd I mean, just too, drink. There, there's all these different strains of it too that that calm you and make you hyperactive and make you want to work on stuff. The, like the trouble is when you smoke with someone who knows what they're doing, then you're getting a hit that's like all THC and they have like all the reds and stuff. I and do they know what they're doing. Now. Oh, I you do, do dabs? I do dabs. Okay. Mainly do concentrates, and that's what, what why. Is a, what is a dab? So it's like concentrated marijuana. So yeah. it's essentially like, the, there's a whole, there's is it several. Smoke, it's almost like, it like, yeah. it's kind of like sap almost from like the plant. It, it, like they it's super like crush pen, it and right? heat it. There could be a vape pen. There's a, there's a whole bunch of different ways to, I, I am, mm. unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to understand all the different processes mm. of how concentrates are made. But I know that sometimes people take straight hash and then they can like put some sort of packet, screen it, and then you basically like press it with heat. And then that extract that comes yeah. out is basically like pure THC almost. And then you take that and you you can look this you up on a video. You can hot knife it or whatever. Yeah, feel, it yeah, well, so well no, we you, might, when we get, yeah, we might answer a little mystery. Yeah, you go on, ins you go on Instagram, um, you know, yeah. you, can, you can look up so many people that are getting high on the internet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Trying to get sponsorships. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you basically take a torch, you heat a piece of quartz, and then when that quartz gets to a certain temperature, you put the concentrate into the quartz mm -hmm. that smokes, you smoke the quartz, and then essentially it's like I see. a bunch of weed at one time. Yeah. So like it's like I'll only do maybe a dab or two, you know. But I can smoke a, a little hmm. dab will do you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's when you're burn <laughs> when you're just smoking it and you're burning it, you're not getting. It's a lot of it's just combusting it. It's just burning it. Yeah, into air. I think paper like joint paper is yeah. probably the best way to smoke like actual flowers. Mm. It's the mm. most uh, way that it tastes the best in my opinion, and also um, is the most efficient way. Yeah, because a lot of times people use glass, and the glass gets dirty, and then it tastes like dirty glass. Yeah, you have you to use, always do the. You have to clean them a lot. Like so, I mean, the best way to do a, a one rip is you get like a freshy bong yeah. yeah you know it's a fun experience but after two hits it tastes like asshole yeah pretty much the water gets all nasty smelling and everything yeah. if it gets oh, on yeah. anything it stinks I, I forget i actually uh you know i don't smoke or anything but i have uh my fucking gengar weed glass or whatever yeah i, I always I, <laughs> I, no, I, nice. I was like oh pokemon perfect yeah <laughs> forgot i don't know but pokemon. james like what, what about the first time you've ever got high did, uh, did you have any, or did you want to... I mean, I don't, like, you know, I have too many, to be honest. <laughs> I guess, like, I don't know. Yeah, so, no. what a, you know, not, like, I guess a, any sort of surprise. I'm not also, can you know, I'm not promoting this, and I'm not saying I am. kids who are, you know, if you're watching, <laughs> John, wait until you're in college is yeah, what I'm going to say. I, also I, I will say I this. I thankfully waited until I was yeah, in college. Yeah, I, I never smoked in high school. I never did that. I didn't I didn't smoke anything until I was like 22, I, was 19. I think. I was 22 because I was already legally drinking. Right. And, I, you know, and I had been drinking too at parties too. Like I, I would, I had a friend who, uh, his parents were like, "Look, we don't mind if you drink as long as you are not driving, you are not leaving, right. yeah, I had and high whatever." Yeah. As yeah, so we, you know, they and they would, they would let us have like parties or whatever, and we would have like, you know, uh, Mike's hard lemonade, or <laughs> Yinglings and stuff. But I had full access to a bar <clears throat> at sixteen years old. Which yeah, was pretty well, dope. <laughs> so we, when I was a waiter, I used to drink you know at, a, at a bar underage all the time, and then I had my twenty-first birthday there, and they came up and they're like, "Oh, it's your birthday, oh. dude!" And I'm like, "Yeah." Oh. I'm, 23 like i had to be like oh shit i've been drinking at this that, bar for two yeah, years yeah. that like, happened to my friend he was in huge poker tournaments in ac oh right? my god since he was like 17 16 whatever <laughs> and one day they're having a party for him and he's been there for like five years or something and they're like hey happy birthday blah 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 and they're like how old are you today he's like oh um i just turned 21 <laughs> and they're like You've been winning poker money for like yeah, five right. years. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But no, like, uh, so I I didn't start until college. I guess like, uh, you know, and, and, and I do once in a while, you know, not all the time. Not like too often, it's I guess. Fine. It's fine. Who's judging you? I don't you? know. Who's it's like, am I allowed to? Because I, I, I'm technically at work right now. <laughs> so Are you? Like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm I, sure I, the video game community is really fed. Yeah, that's by true weed too. Smoking. So I mean, the guy who has long hair and wears a fucking vest every day. I wonder what he's on. So you, you know, look like you could be in the Almond Brothers band. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, so I so I and what for one thing I will say too, I think I you know, I stopped drinking, but I still smoke weed every you know, yeah. uh, but it's it, I don't ever fi- and also I went to animation school. It's really good to help you animate, <laughs> especially if you're sitting around drawing constantly it's and you a, need to draw something. First, that, that's the first time I heard weed being a performance enhancer. <laughs> no, it really oh, was like it compared be. to like drinking and stuff and doing your homework. You can't do that. You're gonna be wasted by like you know a couple beers. But you uh, can yeah. I can you know me and my friends would get fucking stoned. We'd roll a blunt in in our dorm and then we'd pile in my dorm and just animate all day because. We were that in portfolio. Sexy. It was pretty fun. <laughs> um, but my whole demo reel was, I was baked out of my mind when I of did course. my entire, one time I just sat and I. You I, went to art school. Yeah. I, mean, I tweened a color. Shot. Like a, I, I did a hue and saturation animation. It was just colors. And I stared at a, <laughs> a square changing colors for like 20 minutes because I was so stoned. And then I did my homework all night. But no, I mean, the, the first time I ever did it, where I really got stoned, I remember my buddy, uh, who actually also has a podcast, my friend G. It's called the Rated G Podcast. I'll plug his thing. Oh, in, that's kind he's of a, you. He went. He was uh, my buddy in college. We we I I I pretty much helped him. Uh, he was a, he is an amazing artist, but animation is something, especially when you're learning Flash. It's hard to do. So I used to tutor Flash. I wasn't the greatest artist, but I knew Flash in and out, so I could tell people how to use it. How'd that work out for you? I, I mean, pretty good. I do it now. I, if you saw that Leprechaun in the, le- the latest episode, I, I did that. Uh, it took awesome. me about an hour and a half. I just drew it a couple times, but... Um, you tell I always talk about a magic leprechaun. Like, oh, yeah, I want a magic. I, that was <laughs> when I was like, okay, I'm just going to draw this weird leprechaun. Oh, and right. It was for, fun doing it. For Rocketeer, it. you're like, yeah, we need a magic leprechaun. I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I was talk- <laughs> like, I want a magic leprechaun was, to bring every, me beer. Everybody's <laughs> like, why are you <laughs> animating this leprechaun? I'm like, James made a joke about a leprechaun. Why? I, yeah, yeah, I, I don't it's know. Not the, <laughs> One it's of James' of, non sequiturs that he throws in. Yeah, it's a weird running gag. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I was. Well, see, that's yeah. the, the reason people think that people have always thought that I smoked weed because that's just the way I think. I'm like, oh, yeah, magic leprechaun. Like, yeah, whatever. magic le- <laughs> Like, people would say to me, like, oh, so what are you doing this weekend? I'd be like, oh, I'm I'm making this movie called. Kung Fu Werewolf from Outer Space. <laughs> 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 so people would naturally just think I smoke weed because I'm just really chill. And I would, and I would kinda, go home yeah. and see uh, people flipping off of, uh, you know, forts in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Throwing dummies out the window. Oh, it's great. <laughs> the window which faces the street, by the way. My mom was not happy about oh, that. The front lawn. My dad was like, look, you have a fake spaceship in the backyard and it's an eyesore and everybody can see it. <laughs> <laughs> the the, so, the, the, uh, the yeah. homeowners association hates us. Yeah. <laughs> So I never did. My the only years I smoked weed was probably within a two to three year span. Yeah, which was over twenty years ago, like I said. And yeah, if you want to get into these stories, well, none are good. None are absolutely horrible. Like I, none of them put me in the hospital, or none of them got me into like severe trouble or anything like that. <laughs> but um, one of the first times I smoked it could have actually been the first time. It was uh, in college. And um, there was a bunch of people that would hang out in the room and they'd smoke weed like all the time. Yeah. Like every day. And they didn't make a lot of noise when they were doing it either. It was just, just, you know, sitting around, just passing a bong around, whatever, you know. And then one day they asked me like, hey, do you want to smoke this? And I'm like, I don't know. They they, they smoke it every day. So whatever. I'll, I'll just try. I took a puff. As soon as I took a puff, in the door walks, not the dean, but like his assistant or like his second guy Come in, walks into the fucking room. Oh my god! Right when I smoke it, and then the first thing I do, I'm like, I have the smoke in my mouth. I just pass the bong to the guy next to me, and then we kind of like hit it, and we're just sitting around and like, you know, n- I don't know how we got away with that, oh. but he cited us for like some trash violations, like oh we we didn't take our trash out or something, <laughs> something much more minor, basically. Oh we were like, man, oh, boy. But again, like, art school, yeah, you know, it's to it's, be expected. Yeah, I mean, it's to be expected, but it is not. It was not tolerated. Like, mm, you, yeah, you got, like there was letters before that that were like, "Hey, you know, we already had to expel like ten students for smoking weed. If you do this, it's one strike, one warning." You know, so after that, all all my friends, all the people in the room would just like look at me and and like, "Okay, you should never smoke because I'm bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> if I smoke, I'm gonna get in trouble." So that's why I'm never doing anything illegal for the rest of my life. No I'm one gave like, a shit in our school. My friend used to smoke with the fucking security people. Yeah. Like the security guard downstairs, they used to share a blunt out in the back of the building and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. So like, yeah, Art Institute, no one cared. But we would get in trouble if we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did it in senior so, housing though. 
Yeah. So I was naturally freaking out over that. Um, I don't know if I was freaking out because of what happened or if I was freaking out because of the weed. Yeah. I really couldn't Probably tell. Probably both, but, to be <laughs> honest. Yeah. yeah. So then there's some like other stories that are worse on like a physical level. Um, some of them are very minor. Let me get some of the minor ones out of the way first because I've had almost every single thing that could happen. Um, I mean, I think. Like all the stereotypical things. Like, okay, one time you might remember this. I don't know. Uh, you and a bunch of buddies, we were... Um, uh, smoking, you know, I was smoking with all you guys, and uh, I think we, we were just like playing some video games or something, you know. And um, I uh, fell asleep during it, like, I smoked and then I just like passed out. I just went to sleep on like your couch or something. But meanwhile, you're all playing video games in the same room. And then I like woke up and I go, I am so fucking hungry <laughs> and everybody in the room just cracked up <laughs> and then i'm like dude i need to get something to eat like right now so i, I like went to my um my parents house which was nearby like, you know we were next door neighbors um, um, but i wasn't living there at the time it was like i was staying there for like a short time in the summer this was like yeah you know in the summer during college and i so i come into uh you know my parents house where i was staying and it's late at night at some weird hour, like three in the morning, whatever it was. And, then, and I'm like, I need something to eat. So I'm like going through the cabinets in, in the kitchen. And usually there's like something to eat. There's something, anything. I couldn't find anything. I found a can of green beans. And I'm like, so I just like open up this can. And you know, I had so to disgusting. find the can over again. I just, just poured it in my uh, mouth cold, like didn't heat oh it up or God. anything. Ugh. And I'm just like down in this cup of green beans because I'm so fucking hungry. That's disgusting. Uh, and then um, <laughs> it's, it's like you're finding things in the post-apocalypse to eat. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Fallout, like yeah. 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 green yeah. beans. <laughs> yeah, a little energy meter yeah. goes up. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, then there was a bunch of times where nothing happened. To be honest, like lots of times I'd smoke and, and just nothing, no change, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then um, there were a few times where it was like I had a horrible reaction. Where um, one time I remember smoking it, and it was in it was it was also at at like a buddy's house during college years and i remember they like passed it around everybody smoked it and everybody was fine right i smoked the same thing they smoked mm. as soon as i took a puff i just felt like this rush of like nausea and like i was so sick i ran to the bathroom to like, puke i was just vomiting some people are allergic like physically allergic. you know what i had an, an al allergy test uh when i was a baby and they came up i'm allergic to penicillin so, yeah, I am too. Actually, I'm, I'm not all of them, but like certain. Uh, I, I forget. Um, there's a specific one that like I can't hold down. I'll like throw it up immediately. It's like wow. amoxicillin or something. Like That's that. a popular one. Yeah, yeah, I'm like super. Like I can't have it. I if the second I take it, uh, like. A yeah. minute later, I am like projectile vomiting. <laughs> it's like weird. Science. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was one time when I laughed hysterically. That might have been the most positive of the reactions, but I was laughing so hard I couldn't stop, and my stomach hurt. <laughs> and oh, I was man. embarrassed because everybody else in the room was just like, you know, I mean, they're, like, they're, they're, they were cracking up too. Yeah, but I was like, out and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I love that. And but to I be could, honest, that's like one of my favorite times is when you're just yeah. like fucking dying yeah. laughing. And I actually remember what I laughed about too. Like he was talking about some CD that he liked, and he was, uh, we were like, oh, what's your favorite song? And he's like, oh, my favorite uh, song is track three. And I was like, track three, the song track three. And, like, <laughs> and then I just lost it. And I probably laughed for like 10 minutes straight. So I was on the floor in pain and I couldn't stop. And, and after that, I was just like, oh God, I'm never doing that again. And then of course I did try it again a couple of times. And um, I remember one occasion uh, I smoked it and then I saw like the walls swaying and, and shit. And then I was so like just bugging out. I was like, I was on the floor, I remember, just crawling around, looking up at like a light, and the light was changing shapes and stuff. <laughs> and I remember I like I was had a hard time getting a word out, but I asked somebody in the room, I'm like, what what was that? What what did we just smoke? And he and he goes, That's really good weed. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, boy. And there is one other story. <laughs> yeah. I saved it. <laughs> ooh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the worst one I saved for last, That's which uh, yeah, was similar to that one, but it, I, this time it was more like a strobing, like there was this uh, just strobing effect that I was seeing, and um, I just remember like I was playing pool while I was in this state, and 
my other buddy, he seemed like he was okay, but um, at one point I saw him, I saw him fall down and his body just slid underneath the table, <laughs> and like just like almost like a ghost or something pulled him under. Oh shit! And I was like, "Yo, are you okay? Like, what happened?" And um, that was during uh, it was during like some internship we were doing, and uh, I just remember just bugging out. And I remember the here's the weird thing, and, and going back to you were talking about like um different ways you could smoke it. Mm -hmm. Tell me if this sounds familiar at all, because I've never known the answer to this, to what exactly it was, but it was, when I smoked it, I remember it was sort of like, it was green, but it was like powderized. It was like a, a fine powder almost, like a dark green. Smoked out of like, kind of like a straw, but the end of it, it You're smoking meth, James? I don't know. <laughs> does, that, does that sound like meth? No, no. no. Okay. Wait, was it, was it salvia? I, oh. I have no idea. Were you smoking but, salvia? Wait, wait was yeah, it like, explain how you smoked it. Yeah. Please. Well, the end of it had like almost like a um, because that shit's a, straight up hallucinogenic. That's not weed. That's, that's like yeah, that's that stuff is like you where still you, buy that off the well, internet. Yeah. Okay, so it, it had a sticky end to the straw, which it it sticks into the powder, and uh -huh. then it was hot. I, as I recall, it was just like smoking. Like hash could have been hash. That's true. Yeah, too, were they yeah. just smoking like resin? Um, no, it could have been hash. Was ha is ha I thought hash was just another name for weed. No, like, no, hash no, is no, like no. powdered though, right? Isn't it? It's like a yeah, solid it can brick. Be, kind no, of, it can, oh, it can be, be powdered yeah, for okay. sure. I've only seen it like solid. Yeah, that's like, like a, that's like the Jamaican style yeah. hash. But there's like a lot of science behind making hash, and there's definitely hash that. Was it like a hookah? So, sounds like that. I used to do that a lot when we What's were in hookah? college. Is hookah is the one like where a, it's like um, the straws with the, the with the water in the bottom and you put the coal there's, at the top. Yeah. There's no water in it. Okay. It wasn't like that. Huh. But I do remember um, just, yeah, after smoking that, I just remember uh, like j just everything went into strobe and I, and, uh, oh, I was man. freaking out. And, and I remember the guy DCP? who gave it to me, I remember the last thing I remember was like Smoke seeing his face shit. like smiling <laughs> as his face is like morphing was it training shit. day? So, you know, training you know, day? I feel like you smoked salvia. <laughs> and salvia? Like, it could be. That sounds look that like it to me. How do you spell salvia? One time salvia? I smoked salvia and I got like the worst tunnel vision that you could possibly yeah. get. I was watching, it was like a John Kerry presidential debate and oh. I remember oh, just getting God. like the worst <laughs> tunnel vision yeah. and, and being like feeling like I was stuck to the chair. Like, yeah. I, feel, like I know I could move really? but I feel like physically could not move i never I did. did that a couple times in college is, and i do not recommend it huh yeah so that's the thing is you can plant? you can buy it's a normal plant you can just make okay. uh but you the, there is a way to like it's kind of like morning glory seeds too is a thing yeah, where you yeah, can yeah. if you eat a bunch of morning glory seeds you'll trip balls and shit like that and stuff oh i had a lot of friends in high school that went off you know they the, a lot of people say weed's not a gateway drug and all that stuff but i had friends that went <laughs> it is the that. first one you try well, and then <laughs> yeah. the next thing you know yeah. they're drinking mescaline out of a Oh my God. So, well, that sounds fun. I never so done that it, before. Bottom line, just to close it all, like I, um, <laughs> uh, you know, this all happened within like a two, three year span. Haven't done it in like twenty years, and I never will again. And and I, I certainly, to be clear. I, I certainly will never do anything uh, past that. So I'll just stick to this. Yeah, uh, cheers. I don't. Cheers, I, honestly, I don't do anything like uh, I. You, I. I never did weird shit. Like I've never done heroin or anything. Like I never touched that yeah. shit. But no, ever. I wouldn't do that. But I have done like. I've done shrooms and I've done acid before. Well, psychedelics. Yeah, yeah. but I've done like so. The, the weed it actually was what I, I kind of was like. Hey, if I can handle this, I think I can handle. Other well, I mean, things, it's a good. If you, know? you can't smoke weed, you should definitely not eat no, mushrooms. No, and, and yeah, no, and I will say this too. <laughs> like I would never tell James to eat any mushrooms. No, honestly, I, would, I don't even recommend it to anyone. I think I remember really. you tell. I think I remember you telling me that before too. You're like, oh, don't try anything yeah. more than this. <laughs> no, I don't. Honestly, even as a person who I used to, I, I done, I did acid, but I got to a point with it where I was like. I don't need to do this anymore. I'm, I'm cool. I got like answers from it at one point. I had oh, a really prolific yeah. like hallucination at one point at too many games one time. Oh. I took it and uh, <laughs> it, Justin, I got into Justin's car. Justin's going like 70 the... and I'm just like, oh my God, I was oh, freaking if, out. If Kieran's high or doing something, I'll fuck with him. Yeah. It's oh, been, yeah. So then I eventually got to a point where we, we went back to the uh, hotel. Mean. We're sitting oh, in the lobby. Do, you, you, you did like the <laughs> eyebrow me. thing or whatever. When I <laughs> I got, oh, oh my God. Yeah, see, that would probably, <laughs> I got to the, when we got I back to the hotel, head. there was like a hundred people in the oh, hotel sexy. lobby just partying. And I was like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Oh. Like I'm freaking out. The walls are melting. People are coming up to me and talking and I'm just like, 
And then I got in an elevator. I'm riding the elevator. There's like five dudes in the elevator all talking about shit. And I'm just like in the elevator, like thinking in my head. It's like just fear like, and loathing oh my in God. Las yeah, Vegas. it really <laughs> was. It was almost exactly like that's why when we were watching Fear and Loathing for the episode, mm -hmm. I was like, they got yeah. this so good. Yeah, yeah. Every <laughs> minute of this acid trip wow. is exactly you know, what you, you but when I did shrooms, uh, it was a nightmare. Wow. A waking nightmare. There was one movie that the only time I've ever seen this done. <laughs> You seen Midsummer? Yeah, you know, oh, like the tripping. Oh, so that's good. Yeah. that's a very I, um, the way well, things bulge kind I, of that, stuff. That, that looks a lot like some of the stuff I saw, and look, that was the yeah. first time I ever seen it done in a movie where it was somebody, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah like somebody and clearly it's very had subtle uh, the way they did it in a way yeah. where it's it's you're kind of like, did I see right? that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the part where you jump off well, the cliff. So when when oh. I did acid, it Spoiler was pretty alert. sweet. I would just stare at a ceiling fan. Oh. For hours, I would just look at the ceiling go fish fin going. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a good idea. That's too. <laughs> when I did uh, shrooms, though, I was I I had the whole like ego death. I forgot who I was for a good few hours and that's stuff. Fair. I I was traveling in in space, kind of like I wasn't myself oh, for a I got, minute. I got a I got a fucked up it story was, about yeah, that too. It was uh that was horrifying, and I never did it again. But I did acid a couple. I only did it about five times, and the fifth time was after the really good time I had, and then I was like. Oh, there's the things like I can go like this. That's cool. Like I was fully aware and yeah, conscious, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it it wasn't the same anymore. It wasn't like I knew what was happening. I knew the stages of it. I was timing myself like I have like ten more hours <laughs> of this like, kind of thing. And I just never did it again. I never needed to. I never felt, and I only did like one or two tabs at a time. That's perfect. Yeah, that's like a good sailing feeling. But, <laughs> but I don't recommend it to anyone because you really need to make sure you are. <laughs> I like on how, point. Yeah, this, if you're uh, if you're uh, schizophrenic, don't do it. No, if you have any, <laughs> even if you are like in if prone to be like, you know, feel like shit at yeah, certain times, don't anxious. do it because you will be like. Can also bust you right through that wall yeah. too, though. It's, 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 it can thing be is, very therapeutic. You, you, yeah, you have to also kind of tell yourself like, I took acid, you know, because sometimes you'll this forget. And be like, Why am I feeling? <laughs> why is my yeah, skin changing? Like, and it, you're like, oh yeah, I did acid a few hours seven hours ago. Yeah, but you're not in a safe environment. Yeah, yeah, you have to feel bad. comfortable. Yeah. And I also, I can't believe I'm like talking about how I did acid at one point in my life. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what going on the internet? 70,000 people yeah, are going to yeah, see this. Like, oh, yeah, because like, acid. You know, you know what it reminds me uh, of? Uh, uh, Mike Shank in uh, American Movie. Yeah. When he's talking about all the drug stories. Because it's like stuff that happened to him like a while yeah. ago. Now, now he doesn't do it anymore. But like at that time, he was talking about things he did before. And he's just telling that whole story. Um, and then at the end of it. He's just like, oh, I have all kinds of other drug-related stories if you want to hear. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was... like your favorite movie, right? Uh, it, yeah. It's in my top ten for sure, yeah. yeah. I just... I, so I, good. But no, we just... That. I feel like that... Honestly, I feel like it's better than drinking all the time, too. You, you can kind of yeah, do I, other I, stuff. Yeah, I kind of wish I could. Yeah. Because I know um, you're kind of... You do, like, edibles and stuff every now and again. But I prefer edibles, but to I, like, I, I like them I more. can't I do them. have some. Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, so the thing that happened to me, you were just talking about, like, like I, I had a bad trip on edibles, and I'm, oh, I'm no. like cold turkey on it. Because what happened was I was working, I was doing cold graphic turkey. <laughs> I, I was doing graphic design. My job was I did like vehicle wraps for like food trucks and billboards and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right around 2014, 13, before, you know, when we were kind of doing stuff with too many games before I started working at ScreenWave. And I'm sitting in my chair. I'm doing graphic design stuff. And uh, this guy comes up to me, this guy named J-Bone. And the thing about J-Bone is, his name's Justin. My name is Justin. Was it a self-implied yes. name? Yes. Oh, that's the oh, word. It's like, it's like, call me J-Bone. <laughs> never, <laughs> never trust a guy who gave himself his own nickname. Uh, no, especially J-Bone. Well, the thing was, they were, they were, uh, at that time, there was four, maybe five Justins that worked there. Mm -hmm. And there was maybe eight employees. So we all went by our last names or like where we're from. It was kind of like a like a like a like a Vietnam platoon. Like, oh, it's Silverman in Dallas, and here comes J Bone. You know? <laughs> um, so J Bone comes up and he has like some brownies. And he's like, hey man, you want a brownie? And I'm like, Of course I do. Sure. I'm a fat guy. <laughs> of course I do. And this is the this is the story I told before that led us here from the I forgot mm -hmm. what uh, it was like the second episode of the podcast or whatever. So I eat it and I'm like, thanks. And I'm like, that tasted a little weird, whatever. And I wasn't thinking about it. I'm working, it's during business. Like I didn't think about it. I know he's like a stoner dude, but I'm like, ah, oh, 
sometimes you know if someone like the a secretary will bring in a plate or something or someone that like a food truck getting is like, ghost hey, is never cool like, yeah. you don't know so I'm sitting there I'm doing my work I got all my monitors I'm, I'm working on you know I'm trying to rush to get it's like Friday I'm trying to rush for the weekend a, a, a huge winter storm's coming in or whatever and you know how that is in the northeast so I eat it I'm Bread sitting there milk. 45 minutes later <laughs> I'm fucking gone <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just sitting in my chair it's next thing right I know I'm out of a body experience <laughs> <laughs> and my conscious, you know, like that little, like your consciousness is like kind of like between your eyes. You know what I mean? Like, the third like, eye? you know, like, 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 like <laughs> what you are. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know, like you're kind of behind your own eyes. I was just, that was gone. Well, that's like the ego death thing where it's like, right. you, you forget kind of who you are and, and you, you, so, you're just this thing. So now. out of body experience. So my Go body's on. starting to panic <laughs> and I'm, I'm chilling out, you know, my body's like, I'm like frozen, just like clicking around doing things. Um, and my whatever that thing in my head is rockets out of our solar system, out of our galaxy. It passes the the two trillion like galaxy that makes yeah, up really? the universe. <laughs> like I, I'm I'm so far gone. It's so black in the universe. When I turn around, the entire observable universe is so far away. It looks like one star. That's how fucking far I am from the universe. Which is funny because wow. that's what the kid says in fucking Sixth Sense. Remember mm. that part? Mm. So I'm that far away. It's like in big rigs. Like in big <laughs> yeah. rigs. Where that's you, how far you, you back up infinitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm out there. I'm unfamiliar with the reference. Oh, well, there's oh, big rigs. <laughs> it's awful. The best. So, well, well, the, uh, the game's so, sitting somewhere. Oh. It's, uh, right there. Oh, oh okay. wow. It's okay. Of course. Yeah, there's so, no cap on the reverse. Like, you can, yeah, you can leave. Well, there's, there's a, you know, there's a lot about that game. I, you know, did, did an episode. That's probably the best thing. Look, but basically in the game, uh, you can, you can leave the game. You can just keep on driving, like infinitely. It seems until oh, the map. everything else in the game just becomes smaller and smaller until, yeah. like, you, you're just. Leaving that sounds the game. very trippy. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, no yeah. speed Existential cap. Existential gaming. Like yeah. when yeah. You, when you reverse, there's no speed cap, so you just keep like yeah. the uh, the speedometer just keeps spinning wow. and spinning. It's which it's is funny because I actually thought about that after this happened because I actually reviewed that game on one of my own channels in like 2010. I think that was the first video I ever did on YouTube. Actually, uh, I did big rigs, and I was just I was thinking about that later. But anyway, so I'm 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 out in deep space, deeper than anyone's ever been before. <laughs> And in two seconds, I'm back in my fucking chair. And I'm like, and I'm like, like fully conscious, like nothing happened. I'm like, what? And my boss is standing there and he's like, oh, you got to do the thing and da da da. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, have a good weekend. Bye. (laughs) And then I'm like, huh? Next thing I know, I'm out again. (laughs) And for like the next three hours or so, in, out, in, out, in, out. And finally, everything kind of blacks out. I I wake up. (laughs) (laughs) I wake up and I'm just in the back seat of my car. Um, outside of work and the storm rolled in so there's snow everywhere and I'm just fucking freezing to death. I just wake up in the car. So I was in outer space and I'm like, oh, I'm cold and now I'm just in this car. And we had like this, like like the building wasn't definitely not the code, like there weren't railings. You know, it was like an old, it's like an old car shop turning to a, a, a vehicle wrap place um, for, you know, design and stuff. So I don't know how the hell I got out of my desk, went down the stairwell, got out the door, locked up and everything and then got in my car. But I woke up like... <gasps> Like frozen, oh. and for some reason, I thought I would be in trouble because I was like high at work. Like I never thought like this is a lawsuit or I'm gonna beat that guy <laughs> up. I just went home and went to bed and was thankful I was back in the yeah, world reality. and society. Yeah, like that was fucked up. Honestly, so, it, I'm not touching that shit again. Well, if you're like not used to ever <sighs> yeah, smoking dude. and then you you have an edible, like because an edible no, hits no, you way so different. Not just, like, not, not just know, that. Like, he, he gave me a big brownie. Yeah, that's and the oh. thing about him is how strong they were. Right? Super. Because I, I later we, we had a conversation about the guys' dude, work the, the, and they're like, oh, he peed like. T, he had like all that resident THC. Yeah. Like he packed oh, it up because he's he's such a like a pothead. It barely affects him. Right. So me never having it before, I was yeah. fucking gone. Sent you to outer yeah. space. Oh, <laughs> when I first ever, the first time I ever smoked, I remember I, I I I you know my friend. I said to my friend, I'm like, yeah, I don't. I never really felt it before. And he's like, really, you don't feel this? And he was like, and I was like, okay. And then it was me. We were outside in the backyard. We slide the glass door open. I'm like, I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. All of a sudden, I'm at the refrigerator with a cup at the water. Then the next thing I look is the cup is empty, and I'd already drank in it. And that time (laughs) period just flashed forward. And then I was like, oh. And then everybody's like, you okay, Karen? And I went, ah! And I freaked out, (laughs) ran up the stairs, and I jumped into my friend's bed, and I just laid there, and I was going like this. You're in a fucking Christopher Nolan movie. So my friend came up to me, and my friend G, he's like, are you okay, dude? And I'm like... 
I feel invisible, and I was free, and he just started I am a golden god. Up in me. Yeah, I was just, I had to like keep like touching parts to make sure I was there because yeah. I couldn't see myself, mm. and that was the first time. And then after that, I was like, that was just a weed experience. Kind of want to do that. Again. Yeah, that was a that was the first time it ever hit me. I was, and it was, we he was, you know, it was a headies. It, this was good stuff like he was yeah we we had a really good dealer it was our friend uh, uh in <laughs> Don't class actually name. yeah i won't <laughs> yeah. say his name but he was our friend in class and uh it was really good and uh One, two, three, i would never oh. done anything before but we had a brownie experience one time on a on 420 me and my friend it was the first time we ever did brownies and uh me and my friend we had to go pick up more so he's like oh i gotta go meet my dealer so do you want to come with me i was like yeah sure so we ate the brownies and they're like oh it doesn't hit you for like a half hour or so so we're like okay so we're walking through south philly and uh you know me and him are walking and we start noticing like everything's starting to get a little wonky and weird and stuff uh colors are popping a lot more than they would and it's everything's a bit brighter yeah and we get to the dealer's house and he has this dog and the dog's like a mid-sized dog it's not like a big dog or anything but my one friend is like really afraid of dogs so yeah so we're like buying the weed and everything and he's just like staring at this dog and i'm like chilling out and then the dog barked at him (laughs) the dog barks at him and he freaks out and tries to go to the door but he just smacks into the door because it's closed behind him (laughs) the dealer's like what's up with you guys and then we had to walk back and Uh, we're just like comedy action yeah it it was don't don't go on a transaction on brownies i guess is the thing too it's like so you want for, to be of sound mind. I, I like for like that that ten year period. You're just in this in Philadelphia getting high. That's that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. <laughs> and when I was in animation school, honestly, I was kind of the good kid. I was a tutor. <laughs> I taught kids how to use Flash. I taught Action Script three, um, and then. I tried it and then I realized, hey, I can still do all my homework, but now I'm doing really kind of neat stuff and I'm pushing ideas. And honestly, it really helped me animate. And uh, I I ended up, I was almost up for best of portfolio. I got beat out, but uh, I was nominated for it. And I owe that to getting stoned and doing <laughs> animation homework wow. until 4 a.m. every night. So, wow. but yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't... Uh, not not for the kids. If you got kids and you're watching, don't you're let so your funny. kids do it. But yes, yeah, all yeah. The time. I don't want to like because yeah. I don't want to sit and be like, "Yo, smoke yeah. weed all yeah. day, dude." Like, but I mean, at the same time, I can't. Like, that's the one thing. Like, I was like, if I ever have kids and they're like, "Dad," it's gonna be like that PSA where I'm it's like, "I learned from kids. watching you, Dad," or whatever. <laughs> it's like, I I feel like such a like I can't tell people like, "Hey." um, I'm not a good influence on <laughs> on the kids, I guess. But, but I, I did wait until college. But let me teach them. Yeah, I say this. You know what? When you're a kid, don't do it. Don't do it until you're like, you know, going to college or whatever, and you're in that situation. Try it then. Don't do it while you're in high school because I knew guys who did it in high school. They didn't and make it out. Yeah, they, most of them didn't, <laughs> to be honest. Like, sadly, like Some yeah, them, for sure. They didn't like die. They just didn't go. Well, anywhere I mean, your brain definitely like. still developing. All yeah, the way through your early until 20s. you're 25. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So, no, and then, I mean, this I, is a very off topic or could be very on topic i don't know which but um i never noticed in that cinemasker chainsaw if you look through the uh the viewfinder shit pickles in yeah there. you know yeah. what's Ooh. funny i literally said that I to justin last night when we were setting the <laughs> yeah. shots up um, i was sitting in that chair and i was like yo shit pickles in yeah there. yeah like if you're listening and to we the- are not smoking weed there is shit pickle <laughs> yeah. in there you have shit pickles everywhere man oh whoa shit, shit, shit pickles shit, shit pickles <laughs> Shit pickle definitely seems like something you'd come up with in your high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the thing sure. because I, I was not high Super at all. Mega was, Death Christ? Super right? Mega yeah. Death Christ, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I, I come up I'm like, with, you, what are you doing, dude? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I come up with ridiculous <laughs> shit all the time. So it just seemed like... I love Super Mega Death Christ. Yeah. You may be, maybe I'm actually high naturally and oh, when it. i smoke weed then it just is too much mm. or, or it brings you back to reality and you can't handle it man. it's like yeah it's like a, oh, yeah. what's his name the, you uh, know what? the snoop dog the I, weed gets high when you smoke oh, it oh <laughs> snoop dog yeah when i smoke the weed gets yeah. high but you know what that did remind me uh there was an idea for a movie i had one time you know i have all these different ideas that are that aren't developed all the way but just are kind of like a you know a small uh seed of an idea uh, one of them was called a uh, pot planet, and it's just a planet where the atmosphere is all pot, and like so everybody's high there the whole time, like the entire planet is always high. But then one of them uh, becomes a traveler, goes to Earth, I think, and and breathes 
regular oxygen for the first time, and then that's kind of like the high for them. Uh. So it's yeah, that's that's Being all. So you're gonna say they get really mad. <laughs> oh, they, get mad. they start getting angry. Oh, hey, yeah. It was a peaceful planet, yeah. Yeah. and we brought them war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Any more uh, getting high stories you got? No, but but um, it, since we're you know we're coming toward the end of this, I wanted to uh, talk about some movies I saw. Just a couple of them. Not oh, sure. to talk long, but uh, I happened to see uh, Willy's Wonderland uh, too long ago. Did, have any of you guys heard of that? That's the no. Nicholas Cage. I, I, I've heard of it. Kind yeah, of yeah. like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of situation. Exactly. Animatronics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so if you, there's a game called Five Nights at Freddy's. It is kind of similar to that, where there's like it's kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese type place with animatronic characters but they turn evil mm -hmm. and um so it's kind of like another one of those but here's where it gets good um to take out all these animatronics who do you get nicholas cage so if you want to yeah. see nicholas cage fucking up a bunch of animatronics <laughs> then that's uh, pretty fun yeah yeah nicholas cage is always a good time yeah oh you know it's funny what's different about this role though he doesn't say like anything the whole movie he does the whole role silent oh yeah and it's just as good because Perfect. he has that yeah. intense face the whole time <laughs> um what's the movie called uh willie's wonderland because it's the wally's, name of wally, like the wally. Yeah. oh wally is it wally's? wally's it's one of them it might be i think wally's, it's yeah. i think it's willie's but you know i'm interested in animatronic movies like that where something that's not supposed to be evil becomes evil you know like mr bucket or right. mm -hmm. if you yeah, saw I my uh, mr bucket is, is yeah, yeah classic if you it's saw like, my uh, horror premise video, you know, my, the movie that I'm hoping to do someday, yeah. it, it involves animatronics, but mm -hmm. that's all I'll say. Yeah, I forgot um, how much you said in that video, but yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah, where it takes place inside of an amusement park ride, an abandoned one, and there's all these animatronics in there. But if you want to get the whole story, uh, or act one, uh, check out the video. It's called My Horror Premise. Um, the other movie I just saw last night, but this was a documentary on Netflix about Bob Ross. And, um, you know, I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross. He's like one of my childhood heroes. The title of the documentary is a little bit trying to get attention, I think, because it's called Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed. And I was really worried going into it. I'm like, oh, crap, are they going to ruin Bob Ross for me? Like, did, did, mm -hmm. what did Bob Ross do? And thankfully, no, it's not like that. Um, it's actually, it, it celebrates him a lot. But it's more about the people who fucked him over. And now, after watching that, I feel so sad to buy any Bob Ross merch or anything. Oh, because he doesn't go to him, right? Or like doesn't go to his family. Thing. Yeah, yeah it, it, was up. it was supposed to go to his family, but, but it doesn't. Um, so basically, there was this battle over oh, his crazy. name when they knew he had cancer and that he was going to die. They were already like trying to take the whole his his IP and everything. Oh wow, I didn't know that. And, and um, it, it's so alert. sad. Yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I like, I mean, I, it doesn't really spoil the documentary. I mean, the documentary goes into all the detail about it. Sure. So, you know, I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, the the part that really um you know, stuck with me was just thinking about, you know, how peaceful he is, you know, when he's painting and like, and his son talked about how he was behind the scenes, he was fighting with them to keep his, his name you know, yeah. for his kids or anything. So he would have these like angry phone calls and stuff. Then he'd go in and he'd, and he'd record, you know, and he'd be painting. And then you hear him say things that now kind of make a lot of sense where he's like, you know, when I paint, that's the only time when I feel like I'm in total control. Right. It's like, Wow. Yeah, hmm. you used to paint like Bob Ross. Yeah, yeah, I was eleven and <laughs> I was yeah. eleven and twelve. Yeah, my mom he took had me a whole to this collection of them. Yeah, my mom took me to this class, and that's when the Joy of Painting was on. Yeah, um, it was kind of toward the end. I think it was in like one of the later seasons by that time. But um, I used to watch it all the time after Sesame Street when I was like a kid all oh, the time. Yeah, yeah. My, and, and my mom can actually do that. She used to just watch every episode. She does all the techniques and stuff. Huh. She paints on glass though. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, I did a video on Bob Ross, if you want to see that. That was like a few years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, check that out. There's a, you probably just look up Cinemasker James Rolfe, a Bob Ross review. So yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. You ready for the fan Q&A? Sure. Uh, first off, um, I saw a few fan complaints that, you know, you hear a lot of noises on the table. If, you, if you're if you listening to the audio version, you don't see me right now. But, uh, you know, the glasses clink. There's like – the table's not the best table because it gets dense. Oh, you also told me that um, – because I, I didn't realize you see our feet in the video. You were telling me like – Yeah. Because like – 
Because this table here is like just there's no underneath. It's flat. Like I have nowhere to put yeah. my feet. So I'm kind of I'm I'm talking to Kieran, but I'm kind of like yeah. Like on the when side. You, like I think when we got this table first, it was supposed to be just the one side, side. Like, and it was also yeah. yeah it was going to be. I, I think it was like, only two people. It was because I think it was for uh, Mike and Ryan originally. Yeah. So there was just the two of them sitting talking about it, and then this we just had this table, but uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and John's kind of. He's having a fun time over that's there. That's fine. That's fine. But, so uh, we can have table on. evolution at yeah. some point. But maybe. we actually <laughs> we ordered this trapezoid table that could have six people Whoa. around it, and it's all on one side. It, it, it's pretty cool. It's like a streamer table kind of. Yeah, situation. it's crazy that like now companies are making tables yeah. specifically for podcast. Like, wow. yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you think yeah. about it, I mean, uh, considering we made this stupid ass backdrop and stuff, it you know it's yeah. a thing. Stupid. It looks it's good. It's fun. But you know, this kind of started like do talk about the table and moving it around and. Mm. People were complaining like I was talking about the noises and stuff because oh, okay. they, they wanted us to well, get they we'll wanted a, they wanted us to get coasters, so I got coasters. But now the problem is the coasters are sticking to the drinks, mm -hmm. oh, that so happened. it's making even more noise. Yeah. But anyway, God um, damn it! So anyway, to so those we, who said that, thanks for looking out for us. We appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. we appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so we got the fan Q and A. This is from uh, Gary Kearney uh, at Gary Kearney eighty one. Uh, which part of Ireland does Kieran's family come from? By the way, there's no such thing as half Irish. Once you're Irish, you're Irish. <laughs> um, my so most of my family is in County Mayo, uh, which in the on the map I believe is like the southwest or something like it's like in the where it goes like this. And uh, there's my my grandma used to live in Kelchama, and uh, Ballina was where, and, and also in Dublin too. I have uh, cousins and aunts and uncles in, in Dublin, and I have a uh, family buried in in Knock Cemetery. It, we're we're actually pretty popular around there or something like that. It's like weird. I go there <laughs> and my like, people. Popular in the well, graveyard. it's weird yeah. because so so I haven't been there since I was a kid. But when you go there, uh, it's one of those like like we were in Dublin and we were taking a cab somewhere, and the cab driver was friends with my grandpa. Whoa. And he was just saying, you know, he was he was saying to my dad, he's like, you look really familiar. And he's like, oh, I, you know, I used to live here, uh, but I moved to America and everything. And he's like, what's your name? He's like, oh, Kieran. And he's like, Kieran Fallon? And he's like, yeah. And he Whoa. was like, oh, I used to hang out with your dad all the time in Kelchema. And he was this cab driver who just knew my grandpa and they were telling stories. It was crazy. Wow. Like, really people weird. just kind of, you know, it's. It's hmm. it's kind of it's different there. Also, too, I think houses are named. They're not really like yeah. Um, there's not address numbers most of the time because the roads are. Crazy. You might live on this road that is a five mile windy weird road, and you're the only house there. So there's no point in having like one whatever this road is. So they name the house and like you could send we, it you're to the one and only. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I, I know we were shipping things from here for like holiday cards and whatever we were doing, and someone was in Ireland and they lived at like. It was like the yellow house next to the oak tree in old Kukshima. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. What the is fuck? Is that what you would write on? Right. Yeah. Wow. You would write stuff like that because sometimes. Because the, the local post office will figure it out. Where my grandma looked like, where 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 she lived, it looked like the Shire straight up. Like uh, wow. it had stone walls That's that were awesome. just winding up. Like the backyard we had, you, you could go in the backyard and there's just a field that mm. was out there and there's Sounds a weird cool. old house and mm. cats running around everywhere. It's pretty cool. It's a cool. really different place than, you know, it, unless you go to Dublin, then it looks like kind of a normal city, but it still doesn't look like an American city. All right, next up from Moz, uh, and then he has a CD emoji uh, at It's Only Moz. For the podcast question, I say, what's the video game that has the best memories attached to them? That doesn't necessarily have to be your guy's favorite game of all time, but a game that brings you the most joy and fond memories while playing. I think for me, to be honest, it would probably be in college. Because in college, when you're playing games, you didn't really have, like, a bedtime or anything. And, like, everybody was all just staying up late. And then, like, um, drinking became involved with it for the first time. And it was kind of just a new thing. So the game itself that I remember playing a lot in college was uh, Super Monkey Ball on GameCube. Oh, that's oh. a great one. Yeah, yeah. Great party game. You know, we would we would always get all hyped up and... Uh, have a lot of good laughs over it. The, the boxing stage. I think I remember when like it, it was like four players and like you just have to like knock each other out of the ring, whatever. And mm. that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, me. Um, Street Fighter Two, original. Mm. No, none of just the original eight characters because it's it's like the first game I ever played. Mm. And uh, they had it at a pizzeria in uh, in Belmore, New York, where I first played it. And uh, 
my my dad sure. would oh no problem my dad would take us like out we would go get pizza or whatever and then they had the machine there and i had never seen video games before because mm. i wasn't allowed to play them for most of my life when i was growing up uh you know my mom thought it would rot my brain and all that stuff and it did. it did Clearly, it did, much, did. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and all those but, drugs yeah right yeah <laughs> <laughs> but she street, was right, I, I would say like street fighter 2 the music about it, the sounds and everything, it always makes me think of the smell of pizza. Mm -hmm. If I smell okay. pizza, I think of Street Fighter 2 almost yeah. immediately. Because the arcades a lot of times yeah. would be like in a pizza place. In a pizza joint place, like, it would yeah. be an arcade machine or in a 7-Eleven mm -hmm. or whatever. And that's where I first ever saw yeah. it. And I, I, you know, I, I, I played it. I got my ass kicked. I was like five or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even know how old I was. But yeah, Street Fighter 2, the, the original one. I still love playing that one to this day. Mm -hmm. I, I like it a For lot. For sure. Yeah. Uh, for me individually, probably beating Metal Gear Solid for the first time was, you know, I forgot how old I was at the time, uh, like 14 or whatever. It was very eye-opening experience, very mm. fun game. Uh, it was just, you know, good memories of that one. But probably, like, realistically, uh, from high school to college, Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City Ooh. and San Andreas came out, and just me and the boys almost mm -hmm. every night after school or whatever just playing the games and stuff. Uh, I, remember, I remember I had a session where I played GTA uh, Vice City, or yeah, for like, I don't know, 48 hours straight. Ugh. And my friend was Sounds like, healthy. Yeah. yeah. And my friend's like, hey, come on, come on over. We're going to play some more Vice City at my place. I'm like, all right. So I get in my car and I'm driving over there and I'm driving down the road. And, you know, there's there's like a bicyclist and a jogger and stuff. You're going to run them over. And, and, I, and I, I started, I'm like, oh, wait, yeah. holy shit. It really does warp you oh, a bit. Sure. So I, I, got, I, I got to his house and I told him what happened. He's like, you should probably go home and go to bed. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right, yeah. But, uh, yeah, just, just, you know, having fun with the guys, drinking like Mountain Dew Code Reds, and yeah. while someone's on AIM and someone's downloading Napster tunes, like that early two thousand shit mm. was was awesome. That was the f Grand Theft Auto Three was like the first time I remember staying up all night to play a video game. I had never done that before. You know, I always had to go to bed at a certain time, but. Yeah. That that Christmas vacation when I got that for Christmas I stayed up the entire night I I, w I went to bed when the sun came up mm. I couldn't believe it John what do you got Oh man well, so many options but um, actually it's a game James and I used to play together all the time it was, it was either Final Fantasy three or Final Fantasy seven I yeah. always get them confused it was, but it was the one on Super was, Nintendo Yeah it was yeah. three on Super Nintendo the, yeah. but the real a number right. of six actually. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I was getting the one on Super Nintendo, yeah. that game we used to like I remember because you know, only really a one player game, right? All the Final Fantasy, but we used to play it together, so we used to like make all the decisions together and oh, cool. you know who was gonna you know, which way we we're gonna go or which character we we're gonna pick or you know, that sort of thing. So it was very collaborative effort between mm -hmm. James yeah. and I. That was always um, a classic game. And for we me. also had like a lifeline buddy on the phone. Uh, my friend Ed, um, oh, yeah. you like when we get to a part where we're stuck and you know you don't have the internet or anything, to look it up. Yeah. So you'd be like, "Call your boy Ed, do it now." <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, we we could figure this part out. Yeah, yeah. He, call Ed. Call he was Ed. like a strategy guide for yeah, us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny. He's like the Nintendo hotline. Yeah. Dude, I, I had I friends who would to do him that. recently too. I talked to Ed uh, not too long ago. Oh, yeah, that's funny. he's doing good. Yeah, <laughs> we played a little bit of Mortal Kombat um, Eleven, I think the new one over. Uh, like you know, oh yeah, uh, I played that. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's cool. It's honestly Mortal Kombat. Just you know, yeah, classic. They they took the original ones and just ramped them up, gory you know, as, as much yeah, as possible. That sounds great. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> really, it is. It's like what the oh, like, and like the Joker is in it and yeah, stuff like but that. It, you know, oh, it's cool. uh, whenever oh, I'm sitting DC there, comics, uh, yeah, because Warner yeah, Brothers yeah, owns that. them now, yeah, so yeah, they yeah. have you know. Like but, the Terminators uh, in it. And, oh, yeah. that I mean, fun. they're like downloadable, like, um, you know, bonus. Add-ons. Oh, yeah. Rambo's in it, too. Oh, so you yeah, can be Terminator it. and Rambo. Yeah. yeah it's That's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. I still, you know, it's funny because Ed still remembers, like, he's good at with all the moves and everything. So I'll be like, like, oh, okay. Like, sometimes I'll just let him beat me just because I want to see a fatality. James was really good at Killer Instinct when we were kids. I'm so bad at Killer he Instinct. Did, oh. He would do, like, the 70,000 hit combo yeah. things and be the whole <laughs> the thing. The ultra and like, combos. What? I didn't even stuff. know what I was I doing. Like I was just staring. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried like 32 playing. 32 hit <laughs> yeah, one or something. I, yeah, was. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I'm not good at Killer Instinct. I have Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. I'm, like, pretty. And, like, shitty fighters. Like, right. You know? Like, Street that Fighter, some the movie I'm good at. Yeah. Killer Instinct had some of the best video game music yeah, yeah. Ever, oh they like, had that awesome cd yeah, yeah the cd that came with it yeah. too yeah just like when the game starts up it's like dun, 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 dun. it's almost yeah. like a terminator theme a little 
Yeah, it's good. But, but yeah, thanks for that question, Moz. Oh, and so one, one more question or what? One more. All right. Um, this is from uh, Captain Preston Apollo at some stupid biobot. Uh, what are your opinions? What are your people's opinions on furries? I, I had to look this up because I wasn't sure what it meant. So, I, well, from what I understand, oh, that's hilarious. yeah, it's like a cosplay thing, right? Yeah, like, that's all. Yeah, yeah. It, can <laughs> it can be. It, it definitely has its own subculture. <laughs> well, it just, from what I understand, it's just that um, like a large portion of them are uh, LGBTQ plus. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah. It's all over the place, really. It's like all walks of life, really. I yeah. say, what, what, like, probably one of the best conventions aside, you know, it's you, in you, Pittsburgh or something. Well, there's, right? well, there's AnthroCon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. which takes over the whole city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, well, I don't really quite understand the question. What's your opinion on them? Like, it's not, you know, I think they're, they're yeah. fine. No, yeah, well, these people like, dress up like in mm -hmm. characters and then basically have sex with each other. There are that too. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Wait, in the co just like, it can be, curious. it can in be like a kink. It can also be like a, you know, just dress up like just to dress up. Up, just, well, just to be an alter ego. Okay, I mean, so, just a question. Like, do, I mean, they're still wearing the costume. Or how does that work? I'm not oh, sure, okay. but I think oh, that's yeah. part well, of the deal. It depends. Yeah. That's, part, that's part of the whole I mean, uh, yiffing experience, yeah. as they call it. Okay, because yeah. like what they is it say, called? whatever yiffing. floats your yiffing? boat. I mean, no judgment, nothing. Like, yeah, the, like, yeah this is America. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> cool. This is a no judgment zone. Yeah. Uh, you want to fuck each other so in rabbit costumes? Feel free. I guess what our opinion? What are our opinions on furries? I guess. Good? I would assume fine? that a portion of your yeah, audience. Fine. Like, what's the, what's, the, I guess what's there to be an opinion about? <laughs> I guess some people don't like the furries, and I think that might be where the question is going. I have a, like a hate thing. I really like, had good eh. experiences with furries. Yeah, so. I have a. What do you dress up as? Uh, <laughs> yo, I, honestly, I would. This um, is my outfit. <laughs> I have a lot of pictures of furries, actually. And it, it, when when Justin told me the question, I was like, oh, I have like all over my Twitter. I, it, when we went to actually... You gotta edit those bad boys. Yeah, they're the gonna video. be in here. You're gonna see them. <laughs> well, because um, um, th there's a local furry convention to us called Furry Delphia. And we went out there because uh, they do like a table swap with too many games, which is right in the same area for the conventions. And I've never been as drunk or... Like, like it was a uh, an amazing experience. Yeah, at we did karaoke. We yeah, we, we ran around the whole. And mind you, we're not wearing funny. suits or nothing. But no, but they're you know you don't have to. Like they're all super nice. But I of course, yeah, yeah, that's where I got. I have a bunch of like. There's pictures of me back you know a couple years ago. So I have like a huge beard and everything, and uh, I'm hammered, and I'm just like like taking all these selfies with with like all these like furries and I also have the one actually the beer you guys are drinking uh, I I I mentioned it earlier I don't know if I did but Hoppy Halloween is this event they have at Broken Goblet where you get you know you buy the glass and you get beer tasting all day there's a a guy who uh like a furry who plays music there and does covers of uh, songs and everything and I got a picture roll that picture <laughs> of that too I guess with oh. me and my friend who my and my, I'm with it's me and Marshall and then it's also my friend Artie who we filmed the uh the flamethrower when we blew up the CD32 we filmed it at his house uh he's in a full suit of night armor and he's a giant human he's right. like 6 foot 4 and he's like he has Viking blood, so he's a a, a, a giant. He's he's built like he's a Viking blood. So he's like from he is like yeah there. he's all, okay. like from all over there, and uh, he has a full suit of armor that had to be custom made for him because he's <laughs> like the mountain in Game of Thrones. He's he's not <laughs> as huge as that dude, well, but that he's like six, close. He's six foot yeah. seven or something, like four hundred pounds. Artie would be like a brute if he were like. You know, in a in one yeah. of those things, like he would be the guy with the huge axe that comes in, and <laughs> and but he has a full suit of armor that someone has to. He's been buying it steadily since high school. He's That's been a commitment. Oh, it's like a real suit of armor. It's yeah. real armor. It's functional and everything, and it weighs like a hundred pounds. Full chainmail and everything wow. too. So he's a metal dude. Yeah, he is indeed. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> 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 yeah, so I guess. Cool. Well, we had a long, a pretty, yeah. pretty long podcast yeah. furries here. Furries are cool. We've been going for, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fur, furries so. sound cool. I don't know a lot about furries, but they sound cool to me. As long as they're nice. I yeah, yeah. Like they're cool people. Yeah. Like, I've never had a, I've always had a fun yeah. time with furries. And yeah. thanks for coming on, John. Oh, man. Thanks for uh, having absolutely. me. Absolutely. It's an honor to be the first guest. Yeah. Um, and that's why you got the special red microphone arm. Yeah. Well, you guys are clearly prepared for my presence. And we're going to have you on uh, again next week because we're recording two back-to-back. -back. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll be on for next week that we record right now. And, yeah, I guess see you next Tuesday. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, and I have a funny story with John next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of the Cinemassacre Podcast. 
See you next Tuesday. Check out more episodes at Cinemassacre.com or wherever you fill up your ear holes with podcasts. Remember to like this episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below.